Hi guys, this is Chris from Black Dragon Metalworks here at the Number 9 Mining Museum. This is video number two on how to make a leaf hook. Um, now we've already formed the leaf blank, uh, we've drawn it out, we've spread it, and now we've got to put the veins in it. Now I have it in my forge right now, we're going to turn the, the air on, we're going to get it to a nice orange heat. We don't want it too hot, but we don't want it too cold. And then we're going to actually use a cold chisel to put the veins in it. Now the veins have to be in a V pattern, and you're going to see that as we do this. Now, always make sure, I don't have to go over safety, that you wear proper safety attire. These are certified glasses, they're prescription. They keep my eyes 100% um, and also make sure that you're wearing um, cotton clothing, not synthetic clothing. This is all cotton right here. Alright, without further ado, turn the air on and we'll get started. Now this is bituminous coal in here now. Usually burn anthracite, but a friend of mine actually gave me a couple buckets of bituminous coal. And I grew up with bituminous coal. I was using it for years and I missed it. So, I missed the smell. True blacksmith smell right there is that bituminous coal and sulfur burning off of it. Now, as you can see, I've done some really good coking right here. Um, we don't have much smoke. There's a little bit of smoke right here where I have some fresh coal. But most of it right here is good, clean blue flames. That's what you want to see. That's a clean fire. All right, we're at my temperature right now. Stick it between my legs. All right. Right down the middle. Okay. Now you want to cool it off. Now I got snow in here, so I'm going to use some snow to cool it off. Okay. Now you can see that vein right in the middle right there. So now we're going to do our V pattern. So there we go. Now we got our leaves. Okay. Now, most leaves that you see out in the wild right there aren't flat. So we want to give that nice curved look to it. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to get ourselves a piece of wood. Make sure it's not pressure treated. Now you can see I've used this more than one time. It's got this burn mark right here. That's important. Let's put that on my anvil. Now I'm going to take a nice ball peen hammer. And that's what I'm going to use to curve it out. Now here's what's very important. Some smiths have the leaves, leaf veins up and some have them down. Now what I do is I want the curve and I want it to portray and project those veins out. So I'm going to actually heat up my piece, I'm going to put the veins down in the mold, and I'm going to hammer from the back. Now it's going to make some smoke and some flames, and it looks really cool for demonstrational purposes. And you see how it gives that nice curve effect right here. Look at that nice curve effect. That's perfect. I love that effect. Alright, so now I'm going to cool that tip off a little bit here. Now, I just want to heat this portion right here, because I want to draw this out a little bit more so I can get a nice curl in it. Uh, if you don't have control of your fire, you think it's getting too big, cut the air off. Okay, let it die down a little bit. Take some water, put it around there. I don't have water available to me right now because it's the middle of winter. However, I'm just going to cut the air down a little bit, and I'm going to let just naturally sit here for a little bit. It's going to take a little longer to heat, but not much longer. See? Not much longer at all. Put that back, put that back. Now I'm going to draw out this part right here. Remember, when you draw out, always do it in a square fashion. It makes it a lot easier. Right now, we got died down a little bit. We're going to put a little more air in here. Also, remember, don't put a lot of fuel in the fire. You just need enough to heat your material. You don't want to waste coal. Coal is expensive. Right about there. Alright, I like where that's at right now, but it's still square. We want to make it look like a piece of twig, so we have to make it 
uh, sort of roundish. Now, we don't want to make it 100% round because twigs have bents and dings in them. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to kind of round off some of the corners, but not all of them. You'll see when we heat it back up again here. There's a big difference here in my shop. This side of my, my face is cold and this side is hot. So I'm, I'm kind of panting here because body doesn't know what to do. Alright, got good heat. Now we're going to round it. That's perfect. You can't even tell it was square at any point. One more heat. I'm going to turn the air off. I don't want it to get too hot. I'm going to grab a pair of my pliers right here. Now with this one right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to t twist it. I'm going to make it look like a natural curly um, leaf. And that vein that comes off the leaf right here. That's what I want to look. So I'm going to start over the tip of my end like this. Just like that. Take my pair of pliers. Give it a nice good twist. Just like that. Perfect. I love the way that looks. So now we're going to heat up this section right here. We're going to prep it for a hole. Now I'm going to drill my holes. I think it looks a lot cleaner than punching the holes. So we're going to do that next. Reposition my fire a little bit here. Get some fresh coal in here. a little bit of cold inside. Not much. And you can see when that new coal's added how much smoke it gives right here. But right here in the middle, I have very little flame. That's what I want to see here. Alright, so in video number three, we're going to put the hole where the hole's supposed to be and then form the curve. So make sure you check out video number three. Thanks.